create a Space Invaders game in HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So if you've seen my other JavaScript tutorials, you know that it doesn't actually take a lot to start programming in JavaScript using HTML. We can actually just create a simple HTML document. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Text Wrangler. All you need to create an HTML document is uh, a simple text editor. So you could use something like uh, Notepad++ if you're on Windows, or you could use something from the command line if you're using a terminal like Nano or VI. Uh, I like Text Wrangler because I think it's just nice and simple. Uh, but there are a lot of other ones you could use. If you're on Windows, you probably at least have Notepad, so you could start off with that. But to create our document, I'm going to go ahead and just create a basic document here. We're going to create an HTML tag, and that's going to give us the basis. I'll go ahead and save this. We'll call it game.html. We'll make sure that it has HTML so we can open it in our browser very easily. So I've got an HTML tag. This is going to give me the basis of my page. So I open my HTML tag just like this, and I close it just like this. I'm going to I'm going to have a head here, and the heading is, is just going to specify information about my page, and I'm going to have a body. And our body is where our actual uh, our actual uh, visual elements are going to go. So right now, if I were to save this and look at this in my browser, uh, it wouldn't be terribly interesting because, well, there's really nothing here yet. So we want to actually add some different things to our page. So I'm going to create a div element in my page, and I'm going to give this a idea ID of hero. And what this is, is div tags just give us the ability to separate some piece of code. And I'm going to make this a sprite. So uh, a sprite, all a sprite really is, is it allows us to uh, it allows us to take a small piece of uh, the screen or a small graphic or something and move it around. So a sprite is just some basic Im image uh, that we can manipulate or that we can move around. And in order to style this hero, in order to make it actually show up on the screen and look like something, I'm going to go ahead and create a style section. So there are a lot of different ways to create styles in HTML. You can put styles right in line using a style, and then I can enter all of my different style attributes here, which works, but it's nice to keep everything all in one place. Now, I could also create a style sheet here by using something like this, just putting in a link tag and telling it where to find the style sheet, and then I could create a file called style.css and put all of my styles and uh, my CSS styles there. But I'm going to keep things simple. I'm going to make everything in one document document today so we're going to just create this style tag right here so in order to style that particular uh, tag with the ID hero I'm going to use a pound symbol and then I'm going to call this hero and we're going to make our hero we're going to say the back we're just going to give it a background color of red so that's uh, 255 in hexadecimal and then that's for the red code and then the next two are green which is zero and the next two is blue which is zero so that should make our color show up as red we specify all of our colors in HTML as hex codes uh, just you know it's pretty typical for most uh, software most coding uh, you, we specify our colors as hex codes so next we're going to say its width is going to be 20 pixels we want this little section to be 20 pixels high and 20 pixels wide we're gonna you know this way we can make the uh, the the hero look like a little square and we're going to also tell the browser that its position should be absolute and what this is going to do is say instead of where this would be laid out on a normal HTML page we want to specify where that is and from here I can actually save my file and I can refresh my browser and you're gonna see there's a little red square and it looks like it's uh, right now it's just kind of in the corner because we haven't told H the browser where to, to put this uh, it's just going into the default location right now but we can change that uh, we can say, you know what, we're going to create some JavaScript. So we're going to put a script tag down here in our body. And I'm just putting this at the end of my body so that uh, it can find or refer to anything that is defined above it because HTML it kind of interprets things as it's reading them. So we don't want to declare any functions or start manipulating any of these div elements prior to them being actually uh, shown on the page. So our script tag, uh, we're going to go ahead and define a function here. We're going to say function set position and we're going to pass in a sprite. So we're going to create a couple of sprite objects and they're just going to be simple objects that we're going to follow a particular pattern on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the element on the page and we're going to say document.get element by ID and we'll say sprite.element. Uh, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sprite object and that sprite object is going to have an element property and that element property is going to tell us where to find the particular uh, div or the particular HTML element on the page. Document is just the whole document. We can use different functions on document uh, to retrieve information about the, or about the page or about the way things are laid out. So when we say get element by ID it says hey uh, browser go ahead and give me this, uh, this element that I'm going to tell you the ID for. So if we want to define our heroes here, we can say var hero equals new object, and we'll say hero.element, and we're going to just call it hero. Very, very simple. So the next thing we want to do is we want to tell the browser where to put this. So what we need to do is we need to use e.style.left, and then we'll go ahead and say sprite.x, and we're going to define where we're going to actually put this thing plus px, just telling it that we wanted a certain number of pixels uh, from the left side of the screen. And e.style.top is going to be equal to sprite.y plus px, telling it we want it down for a, a certain number of pixels from the top of the screen. So now if we give the hero.x, we'll go ahead and start the hero off at uh, about 250. That should, we're going to use a 500 by 500 grid here for our game, so uh, 250 should give us a pretty good uh, pretty good amount of space. And then we'll also use hero.y and we'll say 460, kind of put the hero toward the bottom of the screen. Okay, so now, if we now that we've defined our hero, we can go under our set position function, we're just going to say set position hero. Now the reason why we didn't just write all of this code out, the reason why we're using a function is because we're going to want to put a lot of different things on the screen and we're going to want to do it a couple of different times. So our set position is going to be called over and over again. That's uh, We want to do that so we can reuse our code without having to write it out over and over again. So now if I refresh my page, you can see now my hero is down here at the bottom. So that gets us started with our game. This kind of introduces some concepts around style sheets and how to build JavaScript and the JavaScript just running uh, as the kind of interaction part of the page and how to put a simple tag on our page. So in the next lesson, we'll get into how we can move this uh, little thing around. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.